I know it's weird to see me do an iMovie tutorial, but I've been getting a lot of questions about it, to be honest with you. So I'm going to throw out an iMovie tutorial for my iMovie users out there every once in a while, okay? And this is a real simple one. One, um, guy just started using iMovie and wanted to know how to add still photos. And another one is how to do the Ken Burns effect and add a still frame, okay? And, and how to add still photos is real easy. Over here in your little buttons, you click the camera, and it will bring up your browser, and you can navigate to where your photos are, and then you pick your photo from this little thing here, like this, you can see, I can grab it, and I drag it, and you can see it highlights blue, and that's how much of the photo, how much of the video the photo is going to be over top of. Now, if I let go here, you'll see this little bar above the photo, two seconds long. And I can take it and drag it out and stretch it. As you can see, when I go over top of it, the photo fades in. That's, that's, that's as easy as it is. That's it. That's how you do it. And to delete it, you just select it, hit the delete key, and that's it. So now let me show you how to add a photo or a still frame. Navigate to the frame you want as a still frame. Right click. Now I have my event browser in my timeline. I call it my timeline where you actually edit your video. I have it switched. It's usually reversed. Where I'm working is usually on top. But I like to switch it around because I'm used to a timeline and my timeline's on the bottom. So I'll switch it around in case you're wondering. What I'm going to do is right click where I want to add still frame. And I'm going to go down and say add still frame to project. Zip. And there's my still frame. So now I can take this still frame and stick it anywhere I want. I'm going to stick it in right here where we took it out. Now, as you can see, it goes to a still frame. Now, if I want to add a Ken Burns effect, see this little crop emblem right there? Click that, and you'll come into this trim edit window here. You'll see you, you'll have a few options. Rotate. Ken Burns. So, what we're going to do is we're going to do the Ken Burns. I want to select Ken Burns, and you'll see now we have a little start box, which you see up here in the corner, start. I can click it and drag it and bring it down littler, and bring it and scroll it around like this right here. Again, you can flip it if you want, and, you're in, and then I'm going to flip it back, and then my inbox is where you want it to stop. So I'm going to make my inbox about right like that my start box looks about pretty good and I'm gonna say done now as you can see when the photo starts it starts right there and it zooms out to the box into the dimensions of the box we set okay I hope you stick now if you want to reverse that grab your end let's see here and we'll grab our start. Let's grab our end here. Like so. We'll say done. Now it's going to start normal. And it's going to zoom in. So let me play that. Two. I hope you stick. And that's how you add a steel frame from existing footage and do a Ken Burns effect and how you do the simple process of dragging a, just a photo in. The little blue box is going to tell you how much of the clip it's over top of and the little bar here tells you how long your photo is and you can drag it to the ends and stuff and make it longer and shorter. So that's how you do it guys. Hope you've learned something. We'll see you next time.